lecture today, I said that sebaceous glands secrete by what's called a holocrine method of secretion. The entire cell dies off and the cell plus its product, and this product in here is this little oily product called sebum. Each one of these little oily or lipid droplets is part of that sebum. So what happens is these cells die off and get secreted out. So if I ask you, where is the nucleus on the cells that you can see in here, where would you tell me, where's the nucleus on this cell? Right smack in the center of the cell, okay? I'm going to show you something else in just a minute that won't have its nucleus in the middle. So sebaceous glands, you can see individual little oil or sebum products. I always tell people it's like a fried egg, okay? Here's the big yolk in the middle. It's got some little oily, greasy spots all over it or whatever. So here's, you know, basically I, you can tell I, I always equate things to food. So that's how I learned what a sebaceous gland was. It looks like a fried egg. So there's the yolk. Here's all the little oil droplets associated with it. You can see individual oil droplets in the sebaceous gland. Whereas on the contrast in just a moment with a mucous gland, and in the mucous gland, the nucleus won't be in the center. It'll be at the periphery, and you can't see individual droplets. All right? Sebaceous gland. Versus looking at mucous gland, OHO2. All right, so when I look at this, most of these glands I'll see in here, these are all aspects of cut cross section through mucous glands. So how do I contrast this with what I just looked at before? Well, you're going to think, well, it's really purplish in nature. Not all mucous glands will look this purplish in nature, but again, it's looking at characteristics of it. Each one of these structures is a aciner unit. Okay, so here's one mucous aciner unit, and you can see individual cells located within it. All right? Where is the nucleus of these aciner cells? At the basal aspect of the cells. It's not in the middle. Okay? And if I go up to 40x magnification, okay, you can't see the individual droplets like what I saw in the spacious plane. It's all just a bunch of frothy junk in the in the cell, nuclei at the periphery, individual cells secreting out into this lumen. Why, that's a very nice mucus gland. Okay? You will not get it confused with the next guy, the serous glands, because serous glands are going to be different than this. slide, something else we'll learn later. So when I start looking at these things, let's see if I can find some with some lumens. So here is, here is one aciner unit, okay? Each of these structures is one aciner unit. So when you look at this, you see individual cells. And you might think, well, Spears, Looks to me like the nuclei are in the periphery, like you showed me on that mucus gland. But what do you notice differently here than what you did before? All right, when you look at this, you notice all these red granules inside this. These are what are called zymogen granules. So when you look at your 15, and you go to the top of page 16, the very first thing in bold there says zymogen granules. Zymogen granules are very prominent, especially the green one that says it's very
in my soul. Oh my goodness, what is going on here? Well, what you got is a mixed gland, a mixed salivary gland. It contains both mucus and serous secretion. So when I zoom in on these, what I notice is here are those glands that had the nuclei at the periphery, this frothy, purplish staining stuff where I can't tell individual droplets. This would be my mucus gland. Here's one mucus passenger unit. And then here are these cells that have all these bright pink, bright red granules inside of them. Okay, what must these be? These must be my serous gland. And then when you look at certain places and you see here's a mucus unit with this serous half moon structure on it, this half moon structure is a serous demiloon. Okay? A half moon serous structure on top of a mucus secretory unit. Okay? That doesn't look very half moon, but it would be. And yeah, we would show you a very nice, beautiful one. This is just a pure serous secretory unit, as are these. But here's the kind of mixed portions of it where you get mucus and serous. Okay? Only serous. So when you scan around and look at different locations, you can find different spots that have these mixtures to it. Here, when you look down at this magnification, you can see serous demiloon, serous demiloon. These are mucus secretory units, serous secretory units. All these other things are just pieces of the ductal system. So if I pointed to this structure and asked you what part of the gland would this be a component of, without giving you any other information, what would you tell me? Don't say duct. Hopefully you would say parenchyma. Because remember, the parenchyma is the epithelial part that consists of the ducts and the secretory unit. All this other stuff out here is part of the stroma of the gland. Stroma. Stroma. Parenchyma. Parenchyma. Okay? Let's see who's left on here. Oh, so I did the mixed gland. So that should get you through most of the stuff. Look through examples. Make sure you can identify this stuff. Now, what I want to encourage you guys on, next week you're going to come in and we're going to do connective tissue. All right? So when you're in the connective tissue lab, you're looking at different slides, you're identifying different types of connective tissue. Constantly review things you can learn. So as you look at an organ, you're trying to decide what type of connective tissue it is. If you see some epithelium, what type of epithelium are you looking at when you're doing the connective tissue? Those of you who've never had histo, it's imperative you constantly review and constantly quiz and test yourself as you're going through the slides. The week after, you start bringing in muscle. When you look at muscle, look for any connective tissue or any epithelium that's there. It all builds upon itself. Okay? And if you don't understand this con these concepts now, you're going to have difficulty all throughout this course. So. We'll be here, we'll answer any questions. Whenever you feel confident, or whenever you feel sick of it, you can audio, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Remember, look at the dissection videos tonight for gross anatomy. If you want to come sign up for that student research thing, come up here and sign up on the sign-up sheet. Don't forget about that, and I'll see you later.